Good morning. I've had an accidental lion this morning. Um, the mosque went off in the wee small hours while it was pitch black and I was expecting a dawn call, uh, which never came. So I kept waking up and it was like vaguely light, but I kept going back to sleep expecting um, the dawn call to wake me up. Today I'm heading south to Maktar uh, for some um, impressive Roman ruins. My internet's not working today either, um, so I haven't received any warning to say my data is low, so I don't think I've been cheated. I guess the internet is just down again today. Salam alaikum. Salam. <laughs> my neighbour brought me eggs. Shukran. Yeah. And take curry measured then. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamualaikum. National Guard have just done a U-turn on seeing me. Anglais, what? Uh, to sell, was that to sell? What? To sell. Mm -hmm. Merci. I've come all this way away from the Algerian border to not be followed by the people that are following me right now. Uredu were not able to work out why I can't currently connect to the internet, so that's three weeks of data that I'm currently wasting. I'm not having a good day. Why can't they leave me alone? And why doesn't my phone work? Just like at Bula Regia, the man who sold me the ticket here is also insistent on knowing where I'm sleeping tonight, which makes me think that the tourism people must be in cahoots, is that the right word? With the police about <laughs> the whereabouts of all the tourists, how annoying. These were the public baths, some of the best preserved in Roman Africa from 3 CE, I read. Bonjour. Bonjour. Vous attendez-moi? Pourquoi? Je ne veux pas, merci. Je ne veux pas. Je ne suis pas libre. Je ne suis pas libre en Tunisie. Alors je ne veux pas voiture. Merci. Okay. Merci. Bonne journée. Still there. Two hours in a coffee shop because I've never sort out my mobile data problem. And it seems like I can't leave town without being watched. I think I've been allowed to leave town alone. Um, and I, I know I shouldn't get mad at them. 
because, uh, well, first of all, it's a level of anger at the police that only a white person can pull off. But also, the reason I don't, well, part of the reason I don't want to be followed is because it makes it harder for me to break the law by wild camping. So they're just doing their jobs and I need to be nicer. Assalamu alaikum. Merci. Where are this is technically trespassing but I didn't jump any fences or break through any gates to get here and wild camping is illegal in Tunisia anyway so is it any more illegal to to camp while trespassing they found me but arrangements were made with the owner of the orchard for me to stay <laughs> So just quickly before it gets too dark, um, I'm not sure if the cops are waiting outside for me, but I've been invited to stay um, by Tejer, who is the owner of this apple orchard. Um, they're very nice, they're so forgiving, like I was so angry and they're so forgiving. Um, but it's quite infantilizing. Like, you know, I feel like I'm a grown woman. Um, but they're like, oh, but there's wild boar, oh, but there's drunk men. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> but I'm used to living like this. Like, it, I, should, I should just learn to enjoy the special VIP treatment. It's just a bit of an adjustment. There's a policeman been stationed here overnight. You're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> 